Welcome to IT Online Classes. So today we are going to do fishing, push on a kind plane, and we also do full on a kind plane. So here, they will give you a situation like this one. This is an inclined plane. And up an inclined plane, you want to, to push this box here of 10 kg up an inclined plane. And they will even tell you that the inclined plane will make an angle of, can be any angle, to say the inclined plane is making an angle of 20 degrees, it's horizontal, so meaning the angle should be here. The moment we add to the horizontal, meaning the angle should be here. To and above the horizontal, it will be 20 degrees here. Let us say, instead of you pushing this thing at here, you maybe just direct here. No, but you have decided to push this thing at an angle. Let's say, you want, you want to push it at an angle here. This angle here. So here, you know, this angle here, they will say in an angle inclined to an above maybe the triangle or anything. So we will mark you know that the angle is supposed to be associated with the push. When they say the angle inclined at to and above the triangle or anything or a box. So meaning here, let's say the angle of 25 degrees. You have decided to push it at an angle of 25 degrees. This is for speed here. So because you want to push this thing up in a kind of plane, meaning the frictional force will oppose you. The frictional force will face this other direction here. And what do you have up here? Up here we have what we call the normal force. But here, we have seen, it's more like you are climbing in that thing. Your weight won't be straight to you. Your way to be at an angle because it's more like you are climbing in that angle. It's not like this situation where your weight is just direct here. No. But here's more like you are climbing in that Your way to be straight here. Your way to be at an angle somewhere here. So they say this is the weight. And because this weight, and because this weight is given at an angle, so meaning this weight will have the horizontal and the vertical component. So because this weight is given at an angle, meaning it will have the vertical and the horizontal component. So it will have this component here that will be perpendicular to the inclined plane and also this component here that will be parallel to the inclined plane. So this one force which is perpendicular to the inclined plane is facing down, the direction should be facing down and this one should point toward the weight. So and this is automatically equal to this angle. This angle is equal to this angle here. So, this side opposed to the angle here, doesn't matter if it is the horizontal or vertical, it should be sine. So, meaning this one will be way sine 20. And this one, which is adjacent to be what? Weight cos what? Cos 20. So, here we have assigned. The weight components here. But don't forget here for P. For P is given at an angle. So meaning there is a vertical and a horizontal component for P. Because you are pushing like this, meaning the, the vertical component will face down because more like you're pushing down, your effort is going down. So meaning you have this component that is going down here. And the other one will go towards your push. This push here. And the side opposed to the angle of the other side, so meaning this one will be P sine 25. P sine 25. And this one P cos 25. So we are done with the free board diagram. We are done with the free board diagram. This is very important. In some question, the first question will be draw a free board diagram. Just draw this whole board diagram will give you five marks. So it's very important. It's very important. So from here, we can now answer a question. We have drawn a free board diagram. This is for push. We can draw a free board diagram. After drawing a free board diagram, we can answer any question. So the key is drawing this for free board diagram here. 
making this free ball guy down here. So down here you can just master the way it is, it will never change. So down here you can master the way it is, it will never change. But here, be careful here. Because you are pushing like this, means the vertical component will go down and the horizontal component will go towards your push. So here, let's say, let's answer a question now. Given the coefficient of friction, coefficient of friction, of friction, let's say the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3, 0 0.30, 0 0.30. Let's say, find for speed. For speed, this is the first question. And the acceleration of the system. And the acceleration. So, add it another question. So, find for speed and the acceleration of this system. So find the force P and the acceleration of this system. So the first thing you need to do is to find force P. The most important thing here on friction is the formula for friction itself. So say friction force is equal to what? The coefficient of kinetic friction of by the non force. When I said to simplify things there, always make the coefficient of friction the subject of formula. So over n of n, so the coefficient of kinetic friction is equal to what? The frictional force over the normal force. And in the question here, we are giving the coefficient of friction which is 0 0.3. So say 0 0.3 is equal to the frictional force over the normal force. So here, we need to make the equation for the frictional force and the equation for the normal force. How do we make the equation for the frictional force and the equation for the normal force? You come here, you say the frictional force is in this direction. Is in this direction here. So meaning we do all the forces in the direction of frictional force. We do all the forces in this going up and down this direction of frictional force. And the forces facing the same direction, you add them, then the vehicle to the other force facing the other direction. So in this case, we have this frictional force of this one and also of this one. So meaning the frictional force and the weight component here, they are facing the same direction, so we can add them. So in this case, the weight is 10 multiplied by 9.8, which is 9, 98. Let's say it is 98 newtons. Just say 10 multiplied by 9.8, let's say it's 98 newtons. So meaning here, it will be the frictional force plus this component here, which is 98 sine 98 sine 20, this is 98, 98 sine 20. B equal to the force facing the other direction, which is P cos 25. Equals to P cos 25. So from here, we need to make the frictional force the subject of formula. So the frictional force will be equals to P cos 25. This one will jump minus 98 sine 20. So where is the frictional force we put this? Where is the frictional force we put this? So 0.3. Is equal to P cos 25 minus 98 sine 20 over the normal force. So the next thing we need to do is to find an equation for the normal force. Let's find the equation for the normal force here. So from here you can see that the normal force is in this direction. It's going up. So meaning we do all the forces that are going up and down up and down in the direction of the normal force or in the vertical. So in this case you can see that this P sine 25 and W cos 20 they are facing the same direction so we can add them then they will be equal to the normal force. So in this case it will be P sine 25 plus what is the weight? 98 cos 20 cos 20 is equal to the normal force. So this one was direct, so the normal force is equal to, to this. So I just put force to that one. So P sine 25 plus 98 cos 20. Then from here you can do a cross multiplication. 
over so it will be P equals 25 minus 98 sine 20 is equals to 0 0.3 multiplied by P sine 25 plus 98 cos 20. So here you can do the mathematics. So what is cos 25? Just the point. So it will be 0 0.9063 P minus what is 98 and 20? 98 is which is the 3.5. B equal to what is 0 0.3 times sine 25? 0 0.3 multiplied by sine 25, which is equal to 0 0.126. Plus what is 0 0.3 multiplied by 98 cos 20. 98 cos 20, which is 27.63. 63. So here you can put the right hand bit with P, they can come this side, and this number they can go the other side. So it will be 0 0.963 P. This one here is positive, it will be negative minus. 0 0.12679 B equal to 27 plus 0.63 plus this one is negative here to be positive the 3.5. So here you can subtract 0 0.9063 minus 0 0.12679. What's the answer? 0 0.77951 P is equal to what is the answer there? 27.63 plus the 3.5. So the answer here will be 61.13. So over 0 0.77951 over 0 0.77951. So this and this will go. So P is equal to what is 61.13 divided by 0 0.77951. So the answer is 78 newtons. 78 newtons. So this is for speed.